Hey guys, here we have the QR12 camera drone by Odyssey Toys. Uh, it's a really neat little product. Uh, it does uh, flips and barrel rolls, and it also has an onboard camera uh, that records video as well as takes pictures. So let's open it up. You'll see it comes with some instructions a USB charger for the battery, a Phillips head screwdriver, and extra props. Then we open up this section right here, and you can see that we have the little drone right here. Uh, it comes with a slot here for a micro SD card. That is right here. They also give you a USB reader. And here is the micro SD card here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there right now. The electronic side needs to face in this direction. Slide it in there, there we go. See there's the little camera right here. And there's the on and off switch. The battery compartment is here. You lift this little tab and you'll see that here's the connection right here. Untwist. And here is the battery. It's a 300, 380 milliamp hour battery. Uh, and here's the connection right here. This is how you plug it into you and uh, to charge it here. Just plugs into any USB port, uh, phone charger, computer. Unplug it there. I've already charged this up. So that we can, uh, we can get going here. Put the battery back in. Twist up the cables a little bit. Hide them in there. Snap it shut. So there's that. And then finally, we have the remote control. Just like any other quadcopter drone, uh, the left stick is for ascension and descension, as well as rotation. And the right stick is for tilt, so directional movement. There are also trim buttons to uh, make fine adjustments. This button right here is for the lights. There's four LED lights, one for each of the blades, and you can turn that on or off. That will greatly affect the amount of fly time that you get. Photo is to take a still photo, and video is to turn on video recording, and then pressing it again turns off video recording. Speed button up here adjusts just how much the ascension and descension power will be. And then the flip button enables you to do forward, backward flips, and left and right barrel rolls. All right, so let's get her flying. So when you first turn on your controller, you'll notice that the screen actually shows a visual of the drone as well as different trim specifics, battery power, uh, the connection strength, and it'll also show us whether or not the lights are on, the, a photo is being taken, or the video is recording. So I'm gonna turn on the drone here. And there are blinking LED lights, letting you know that it's on, but it needs to connect to the remote. So what I do is I go up, down. Oh, let's turn off the power there and try it again. Up, down, there we go. So it beeped, it lets me know that, uh, that it is now connected. You can see here the bars are connected, or there's full connection. I, one, two, three, four, five bars right there. And we'll fly it here in a sec. All right, so now that we're connected, uh, you can see that I've turned the light off. This is on, and that's off. Um, you know, I want as much fly time as I can possibly get, so um, 
Let's do this now. Whenever I push up on the left stick, you can see that the power increases by percentages. And you can see that the blades are actually turning here, letting you know that we are, uh, we are moving. The trim buttons here are uh, note notated here. You notice that it's all in the center. So if I was to do it a certain direction, it would provide uh, uh, you know, uh, bars in, in whichever direction that I, uh, I adjust in. Um, next is photo. So when you take a photo, the little, it just shows up right there, the little icon. And then video, it'll maintain a video uh, icon while it's recording. And then you need to press it in order to turn it back off. So let's uh, take a first spin. It's really nimble. Flying into the sun there, that's not good. <laughs> Dude, this model actually has flips and barrel rolls built into it. So I'm gonna show you a flip right now. That was a forward flip. Let's do a back flip. Now barrel roll. So really cool. So now I'm gonna take a couple of pictures while I'm up here. Show you guys the quality of it. Pretty nice camera. Rotate around, take a couple of photos while we're way up there. And let's take a little bit of video. So I'm gonna turn it on. It's looking at me right now. Let's go up a little bit higher. And let's get a... Uh, let's get a 360 degree view over the house. So just do a little rotation there. Oh, and we crashed, all right. So I'm gonna turn the video off right now. Let's see how well it stood up to a crash. So it actually held up pretty well, no damage. The battery compartment uh, just opened up, so not a big deal. We can just twist that back into place, close it up. You know, um, if this becomes an issue, you know, you can always just tape it shut or rubber band it shut, so it, uh, it wouldn't be a, a huge problem. Let's get it going again and look at some more footage. I'm gonna start the video. And whenever you push the video button, the LED lights that are uh, that are on the drone itself actually start to blink. And then they will turn right back off if you have them off. Let's see if I can uh, I can land it a little bit more gracefully this time.